If you ask me 10 years from now, what is one year of your life that stands out more than any other? What was a year that was marked with wake-up calls? And I'd have to say 2024. Now, if you've lived on this earth any length of time, whether you are two years old or 102, you have lived through a life where you get wake-up calls, lessons learned. There's a lot of names for it. But it's how we develop as human beings and how we evolve as a person uh, to understand what those are and to be smart enough to do something about it. Uh, I'll start out with probably back in January. I was in here one evening uh, watching YouTube. Doing This is back when I had the office in here. And I got up. The desk was facing this way. I got up out of my chair and I had previously taken my shoes off and I laid them right next to me. So I got out of the chair and this room was filled. It had a freezer over on this side and uh, I tripped over the shoes and I fell in between the freezer. Don't ask me how this happened, but I fell down couldn't catch my, you know, and I was drinking. Wasn't too toasted, but I was drinking. But I don't think, I think I would have tripped for any, whether I was drinking or not, where I'd placed my shoes. So I get wedged in between, there is a, in this corner over here, there is a hot water tank and then the freezer. And somehow I land on, a, I had a printer on the floor that wasn't working, but it was on the floor. I land on my side on the printer. And I get wedged between the wall, the freezer, and the hot water tank. And I laid there forever trying to get up. And it hurt because I was laying on top of the printer. And I was, I had my arm, I guess I went to catch myself falling and my arm got wedged behind, between the hot water tank and the wall. And my big fat body had pressed it in there and I could not get my arm free. And after probably 15 minutes, I was able to kick the freezer, use my knee and somehow push the freezer out and got me some more room to where I could. And I got out of there, but I'll tell you, it still hurts once in a while to this day where I landed on that printer. Now I know there's nothing wrong cause I've had it actually had a cat scan, uh, back in April and nothing came up. Uh, but that got me to go, you know, to thinking, man, you got to lose weight. And while you're at it, quit drinking. And it took a few months and then I finally did. And I haven't touched a drop of alcohol since the last weekend of February. And I don't plan to ever again, ever. Because I don't miss it. I see how good life is on the weekends when I did most of my drinking. But I wasn't, I wasn't against drinking during the week. If I had it, I drank it. Uh, living where I do, you have to drive. It's a 100-mile round trip to get alcohol. And during the virus, I would buy it by the case. Well, it was here. So I would drink it. Didn't matter if it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh but then I got back to just on the weekends, but still I could have died there. And there have been a few incidents where I, you know, I live alone where I fell off a ladder once and you know, I wasn't drinking, but I working on the loft, I fell off the ladder that could have went ugly. So you never know. And my weight played a lot. You know, if you're, if you're 300 pounds hitting concrete and you're 180 pounds hitting concrete, there's going to be a different result and it's, it's more than likely you're going to get seriously injured if you're 300 pounds or heavier. And you know, I'm, I'm 
creeping up on losing almost 70 pounds now, and it's incredible, the difference. Now, that's just one wake-up call I had. I just recently had another one, and that was with Waldo, uh, with my dogs. You know, and I always try to take the best care of them, and I love my dogs. I always try to take the best care of them I can. But why didn't I see what I was feeding them? You know, it was like what I was feeding myself before, pure poison. And I don't think we realize that uh, until it's too late. And I, I honestly, taking him to the vet, I just knew he wasn't coming home. And I was, but he, you know, he was starting to show little signs of improvement, but at, given his age, I figured it was all over and it was far from the truth. So now I got a whole different outlook. They, they're not eating the canned food anymore. I just cooked up some, I took some green beans because they didn't want to eat the carrots and, and the raw liver I gave them yesterday. I don't blame them. So I put a little water in a frying pan. I fried up those livers. Not, not a whole lot, just for a few minutes till they turned brown. Got a little hard. And then I drained the water and I threw in one spoonful of bacon grease. And I mashed up those green beans. I didn't really mash them, but I cut them up fine. They were these big hunky ones. And I mixed those in. And then I mixed in some, a can of chicken. I rinsed all the salt that I could get off of them. Now I will be getting real chicken for them. Uh, I got to change my buying habits for them now. I'll probably actually save money. Uh, and I fried that up for just a couple minutes. To make sure all that bacon grease, and it wasn't much bacon grease. It ain't going to hurt them anyway. And I said, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if Rooster will, because Rooster's, I should have named her Mikey. He ain't going to eat it. Well, Rooster devoured it. Green beans, I've never seen her eat any kind. She will pick the little carrots and vegetables out of any kind of food that has it that I give her. She ate those green beans. So I know the magic ingredient, but I am going to, a lot of people been suggesting cook it in a crock pot. That's a good idea. I think on Sundays I will just cook a whole week's worth. I even gave it to Millie and Tilly today. They loved it. So I'm going to be cooking their own food and we're going to get them off this dry food. I've just been putting a little bit in there. And Millie and Tilly ate the, the stuff that I cooked and left all the dry food. And they'll come back and eat that later. But they liked it. So that's how they're going to be eating. But sometimes it takes wake-up calls to wake us up. And, you know, I'm glad Waldo is going to recover. And hopefully I want to get his health even better. And Lily, too. Lily is very overweight. Uh, she struggles walking. How dare me go on a lifestyle change myself and not take my dogs along for the ride. So you will be watching videos where I document them, them losing weight. I am going to cut back on what, and they only eat once a day, but Lily's got enough fat on her to survive. I'm not going to starve her, but she's going to get smaller portions and better food. And they all are. And we're just going to all be healthy. But I would probably, it would be miserable for me right now had I lost Waldo to sit here and have to do these videos for 30 days during Dogtober. Because it's going to take me, any of my dogs that I have, it takes a while for me to get back to where I'm not, you know, to where I'm almost normal. And every time you lose one, it takes a part of you with them. Um, there's sometimes... There's nothing you can do. Sometimes there is. And if, if I can make them healthier, then that's what I'm going to do. And then, uh, then I don't have to at least, you know, they die of old age. I know that I've done my best. And if he would have died, you know, the other day, I would be questioning myself. Well, why did I, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to take the time. Uh, I don't have a full-time job. 
I'm going to take the time to make sure that they are healthy and any symptom of anything they get, they're going right to the doctor. Now, at the same time, I don't want my dogs on tons of medications either. I threw all mine in the trash, but they're a dog. You know, I, I guess maybe I'll study up on it, but I, I just, I know how I feel. I know, do I have pains here? But I can't see how they feel or any of the dog, you know, dog issues. So I got to kind of trust the vet with that, but I will get them all. Every one of them will go to the uh, vet once, at least once a year for a checkup. Lily has never been to the vet, never, other than to get uh, spayed. She's never been, she's never been sick. She's never given me a reason to take her other than checkups. Uh, but that's, and that is not going to be easy. That's going to terrify her. But she's going to have to go. Even if I got to take Waldo with him, uh, with her, she's got to go and get a checkup. But we got to get her eating right. Uh, she should, she's way overweight. She's probably 70 pounds. She needs to be 40. And Waldo was 60 pounds. He has never really changed much. He's always been 50 pounds. So he's gained 13 pounds since his last visit, which was, well, the first visit he was 50 pounds. Is he went not long ago for his hot, probably a year ago for, for his paw. So he's been three times. Rooster's been a whole bunch of times. Libby, she went every month. Uh, Millie and Tilly have been. They got spayed. I think Tilly went for one other reason, but they're going. So if you've lived life without any wake-up calls, then you've been either you're stupid <laughs> or you don't care. And not just get a wake-up call, but to do something about it. That's, that's what they're for. They're to let us know, hey, this is wrong. You got to fix it. And so if you don't listen to them, you know, I got a wake up call years ago about drinking and, and a lot of things. Sometimes you just don't act on it right away, but you know, in your mind, whatever you're doing is not right, not the right way. It's wrong that you need to change something. And sometimes it just takes a while and you know, I got to strive to do better and everybody should. And thank you for everybody that's been watching, been getting really good views the last couple days, uh, especially on this channel. It's doing well. And I uh, just put up a video on the other channel. Go check it out. Remember, you can donate to Furry Tales Rescue. There's a link in the description. Anything helps. Memberships are available. I did lose some members when I was going to quit doing YouTube. Uh, but if you guys want to come back and join as uh, a member on this channel or the other channel, that revenue will also go to the dog rescue. So that is another way. Thank you for watching. Happy trails.